Hey, everybody. Um, <laughs> I'm a professional television and radio host. Um, and still, to this very moment, as of this sitting, Oscar's still looking for a host. Oscar's still looking for a host. Day three. Day three. Day three of me talking about it. Yesterday, Iron Eagle brought it up, not me. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to bring it up. I understand you think the odds are long against me, but I've seen odds far worse than what I think I'm up against. And again, the biggest problem, other than <laughs> me being a 52-year-old man, um, it is, you know, you think you're a sports guy, right? Sports guy. We just had Gaffigan and Josh Gad on, right? Jack Quaid's joining me. Uh, we're, we talk entertainment all the time here. This is a hot movie screen, and Jack Quaid's here in studio. And in terms of Oscars, I know Oscars. I've interviewed Michael Douglas. Put it up on the screen. Here he is. Yep. Remember when Michael Douglas was here? Oh, they do. Isn't it great? Right. Yeah, 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 you know, me and Mike, we're just uh, kicking it. You know, what he's, you know what he's got in the case? He's got an Oscar. Yep, there he is, winning for Gordon Gecko. Yeah. You know what else you, want, you also won an Oscar for? He produced One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He's, got, he's got an Oscar for Best Picture. I know the history of the movies. I've seen One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I've seen China Syndrome. And Romancing the Stone. Basic and its instinct. sequels. Even all of that stuff. Oh, basic Instinct. Let's, let's, it's, it's all good, man. Yeah. So, you know, uh, let me just let, 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 let the folks at the uh, Oscars know, you know, this is your wake up call. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a cellular phone signed by <laughs> Michael Douglas, <laughs> an old school phone signed by Michael Douglas. And you know what I've got going on right here? I'm not done yet. I've got momentum. I know you're not. I've got momentum. I've got international momentum. I don't know who Chad Ryan is or Chad Wicko T W W is, but he's a blue check mark, which means he must be, you know, of note. Somebody. Down under, which I'm mandated to say as a sports broadcaster. On behalf of the Australian delegation, I hereby endorse Rich Eisen as Oscars host. However, we humbly request he co hosts with Hugh Jackman. Hmm. Why not? Why not? We are both Wolverines. There it is <laughs> on the screen. We're both Wolverines right wow. there. Not only that, not only are we both Wolverines, we are both the greatest showmen as well. Oh. There it is. Look at that on the screen. Okay. I can do, I can, I can play roles. I can play roles. Wow. Yeah, I can play roles. So, <laughs> I can't what? Not nothing. He's, I love uh, it. Tell me who's got a resume like I look this. Forward tell to me you who's got a resume like this. Topping yourself each day. I, I saw. This is gonna happen, Chris. If you first of all, you got to speak it into existence. Oh, no. yes. Stuart Scott told me that a That's very long truth. time ago. I know ago. what's gonna happen. Stu Scott told me. Stu Scott told me when he said he was trying out as a wide receiver for the Jets for a piece for ESPN, sort of a gonzo journalism piece to take people behind the scenes about what it is to try and make a team. He told me he was going to make the Jets. And I said to him, you're crazy. You're crazy. And he said, you got to speak it into existence. I tell Brockman that all the time. A football yeah. did, in fact, hit him in the face, and he didn't make the Jets. But I'm <laughs> going to make this happen. Now, I saw they're looking at Tom Holland, you know, oh. who plays Spider-Man. Oh, wow. Kids dig him. Yeah. He's a different generation. They're Zendaya trying to go young. Too. They're trying to go young. Hey, Oscars, I've seen the best picture movies that are up there. You're not going young. It's not, it's, it's not, it's, I don't know how many gen whatever it is or whatever. You got to know, you got to know movies. You got to move things along. You got to be entertaining. And you got to know entertainment. And you, you and I would do a great show together. And I, I've never met Hugh Jackman, um, but I think we'd get along. I think we'd, I don't know why you we'd, we'd, we'd hit it off. Yeah. 
I need you guys to buy in. I, I'm, I'm sensing I'm in. lack of buy in here. No, we uh, just I appreciate want one job. you, Mike. We just want one job. Me, T, uh, TJ, myself, and Brockman want to be the guys that walk the. You're the in. Winners You're all the, in. Walk. You're coming with me. You know how you Who's walk coming with walk? me? Another line for the movies. We're all there. Who's coming with me? I'm walking here with you. Rick. Thank you. Another line from the movies. We know movies. You had me at host. You know? Yeah, I want you to get it just so I can hang out backstage. Yeah, me and Brock and TJ just want to now. Now, yeah. see, now you got buy-in on this. Are you coming with me? You are coming be, with we me? We can be the backstage reporters. We, I mean, we actually, yeah, like the, when they walk off. Do I get to kiss Halle Berry? Can I be like the Ellen K where no. I get to announce? The, you the cannot nominees? creep anybody out. <laughs> you understand? When you join, for Adrian hey, who puts you on a red carpet at the Oscars first? I know, Chris? I'm saying, I've, I've done it. We have it. a history. It's we it's have fun. a history there. We've been there. I put Heinz Ward and Ed Reed on the carpet. And guess what they did? They got all the celebrities coming over to them because these folks know what's up. They had the Rich Eisen Show Mike flag. Clooney went up. What, Clooney loved it, right? Didn't Clooney love Clooney, with Clooney was a big fan. Also, well, it was Ed Reed because um, he was dating Stacey Keyboard at the time. Yeah, no, she's was a, a former Raven. Ravens cheerleader. And she, she knew, knew Ed. Ed Reed. She was very excited. And and Clooney's a Bengals fan. Right. Saw Ed Reed. I can bring the shield. Very excited. And I'm not talking about Captain America's shield from the Marvel Universe. <laughs> I know movies. I know movies. <laughs> I can move it all around. I've got knickknacks. I've got props. If you're with Hugh Jackman, oh, though, hello. there's going to be. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Michael yeah. Douglas sort of signed this. Singing number. Can you sing? Oh, yeah. It, we Ask sing. my children if I can sing the Greatest Showman soundtrack. The answer is absolutely yes. Rich, okay. we've seen Rich do karaoke. He's fun. Excuse me. Well, Look at me perform. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> not plugged in. Not plugged in. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can <laughs> literally and Most figuratively today, not plugged in. You can lip sync, Rich. Most artists today From lip now on, which is a song from the soundtrack. Uh, hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.